Hi guys, my name is Devi and I'm back with another brand new video for you all today. This is going to be a comparison video between SQL and MySQL. So, if you are willing to learn the same, then you should definitely stay tuned till the end of the video. But before we move on with the video, it would be great if you could show some love and hit the like button below. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel because we keep posting some amazing videos on latest and trending technologies. Alright, so first things first, let me tell you what all I have for you in this video. Starting off, we will see what is meant by data, database and DBMS. Next up, I'll discuss with you what is SQL and MySQL. And finally, I'll discuss with you with the detailed comparison between the two. Have you ever misplaced any important document and felt helpless while looking for the same? Or when was the last time you had to rummage through a pile of documents to find that one sheet of paper someone asked you for? I'm sure all of us have dealt with similar situations at least once in our lives. But thanks to technology, we can keep our documents not only safe and secure, but also free from being misplaced or lost. Want to know how? Well, you can store easily any amount of data or information in the form of databases in a computer system. Now, data can be any meaningful information. For example, if I say she is a girl, does it make any sense? No, right? This is just raw information. But if I say Samantha is a girl, this means I'm referring to a girl whose name is Samantha. This is data. Okay, so what exactly is a database? A database is simply the place where we can store all our data in an organized manner. Think of it as a collection of files or folders where you can keep your data or documents. You can easily store and access data in a database. Now, an individual may or may not have a huge amount of data that needs to be stored. But consider any organization or institution where people need to store large amount of data for various purposes. In such cases, it gets nearly impossible to store all data in one place or in a single database. So there are multiple databases storing huge amount of data within them. But do you think it's possible to manage so many databases manually? No, it isn't. And for this reason, we have database management system. Database management system is a software which makes it easier for us to manage any number of databases. As I already said, thanks to technology. Now, there must be some way of interacting with databases, which brings us to our next topic, SQL. SQL is an abbreviation for Structured Query Language. It is basically a language which allows us to interact or communicate with databases. With the help of SQL, we can write various queries in order to obtain any required data from database. Or even if you want to order or update any existing data in the databases, you can easily do that by using SQL queries. Based on their purpose, there are many categories of commands used in SQL such as data definition language, data manipulation language, data control language, etc. Here are a few examples of SQL queries. The first query is used to display the entire details of those employees from the employee table whose salary is less than or equal to 5000. Again, the second query is used to display the name of all those customers from the customer table whose age is less than or equal to 25. Now we have databases to store our data. We have SQL as the language or medium for interacting with the databases. But how can we manage all these databases by ourselves? For that, we have different database management systems available, one of which is MySQL. MySQL is an open source database management system, which means it is completely free software, which helps us to manage our databases efficiently. Also, MySQL is a relational database management system, that is, it allows us to handle databases which share certain relation among themselves. But a database management system can only function with the help of a query language. So, MySQL is based on SQL, 
which means it uses SQL queries to access and manage databases. As you can see on your screen, here's the process or working of MySQL. The first step is to generate or send out appropriate query request from client side to the server. The server stores all the data in the form of databases. Upon reaching the server side, the query or request made by the client is further processed and the required data is obtained. Finally, the data extracted or obtained is sent out as a response from server to the client side. All this is done with the help of a database management system, just like MySQL. No matter how complex the databases are, you can easily access the desired data with the help of MySQL. Now that we have briefly discussed what is SQL and MySQL, let us move on to the main topic, that is comparison between the two. The first and foremost point of comparison is their definition. SQL is a query language used to interact with databases. We can write queries or commands using SQL in order to access data from databases. MySQL is a database management system, or rather a relational database management system, which is used to manage databases. It allows us to perform various operations on existing databases. The second point of comparison is the complexity involved in working with them. In order to speak or write any language, you must learn it at first. Similarly, in case of SQL, one needs to learn the language properly before being able to use it. Now, every language has its own grammar, syntax, etc. And you need to invest enough time learning all of it if you want to use it efficiently. On the other hand, MySQL is a software. And like any other software, you can simply download and install MySQL. And once it's done, you can instantly start working with it. You don't need to learn MySQL in order to use it. The final point of comparison is the usage of the two. SQL is used by so many database management systems, including MySQL, Oracle, PostgreSQL, etc. And MySQL is a database management system based on SQL. That is, one can perform SQL queries in MySQL in order to access data or operate on data stored in databases. Now, these were a few comparisons between SQL and MySQL. Now, I'm going to show you how we can run SQL queries in MySQL. As you can see here on your screen, we have the MySQL workbench. I'm just quickly going to run a few queries. Okay, so first up, I am just going to show you how we can do it from scratch. Okay, so uh, you can see the blank white space in the center of the screen. This is exactly where we write or type in the queries or commands. On the left hand side, you can see a list of schemas or databases that we have. Here's the database that I'll be working with for now. This is the user underscore db1. And within that database, I have created two tables for us, which is student table and the other one is course table. First up, I'm going to write a query, show databases. Now this query is basically used to display the list of all the default or existing databases that we have. Here you can see the sign or the symbol that we use to run the queries. Okay, so as you can see on your screen, we have the list of the default or existing databases. Next up, I'm going to write another query. This query is basically used so that you can uh, mention the database that you want to work with. As I already said, I'll be working with this database, user underscore db1. So here you write the name of the database that you want to work with. Okay, so my first query would be select star from course. Okay, so let's see what this query brings us. Okay, as you can see on your screen, we have the entire course table in front of us. Here's the three columns, serial number, course ID, roll number. So this query, what it does, it uh, displays the entire table in front of you. If you want any particular column to be displayed, then uh, suppose I only want to display the course ID. Okay, and uh, based on any given condition, 
so for example i would write select course id from course where roll numbers are less than or equal to say 6 let's see what it brings us Okay, so here's the course IDs where the roll number is less than or equal to 6. Again, if you want any other queries, say select and then we have uh, name from student. Or suppose I want to display the entire student table. First, I'm going to do that. Okay, so as you can see, here's the entire student table displayed right in front of you. Now, if I want to display any particular column, then I'm going to write select name from student, where I'm going to put in a certain condition, say, where age is less than 20. All right, let us run this query. Okay, so here we have the list of names where the age is less than 20. So similarly, you can run various other queries as per your requirements. And you see how simple and easy it is. So that's all for this video. In this video, we have discussed the meanings of data, databases, and database management systems. We have also briefly discussed what is SQL and MySQL. And finally, we have seen a comparison between the two. If you find this video helpful or interesting in any way, please show us some love, hit the like button, and leave a comment below. You can also share this video with your friends or anyone who you think might need it. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for our upcoming videos on latest technologies. Thank you.